What's up guys, Sal here. So Google will keep a launch event for their true flagship phones in years, the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro in October. But in a very unusual move, Google has made the devices official, revealing how they look, their features, information about its first breakthrough SoC, and much more. At a time when Samsung and Apple are going after leakers for releasing information about their unreleased products, Google is like hold my Pixel 6. However, Google is keeping key specifics such as cost and availability under wraps, but it is providing us a preview of what to expect. Here are the official images and videos of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. These look identical to what we saw earlier through John Prosser, but Google mentions that both the handsets will come in three color combo and here are the color options. Interestingly, the Pixel 6 Pro has more space above the camera module. Google also showed the front of the handset. It's the first time in years that a Pixel phone actually looks like it belongs in that particular year with minimal bezels, punch hole camera and curved display. The Pixel 6, however, will have a flat display and some chunkier bezels all around. The highlighting feature of the Pixel 6 is its processor or system on chip and Google is officially calling it Tensor. Sundar Pichai said they've been working on this chip for four years and is finally ready for prime time. Basically, he said that the main goal of this chipset isn't to offer more clock speeds, gigahertz and all of that stuff, but to integrate Google's most advanced AI and machine learning features to unlock dedicated experience for Pixel users. He said Tensor will enable more useful experiences such as improved voice recognition that consumes half the battery with real-time translation and voice typing and improved face detection to enhance blurry photos in low-light conditions. Basically, with Tensor chipset, Google wants to shift the focus away from gigahertz and towards artificial intelligence and machine learning in phones, which are areas where Google of course has a significant edge. If Google succeeds, then this will surely change the way we look at our phone's processors. Plus, this new chipset will allow them to do things that wasn't possible before with Qualcomm's chipset. For example, in computational photography, specifically video recording, an area where Pixel phones weren't really good compared to the competition. Google has confirmed that its new Tensor chip will make big improvements to video on Pixel 6. Google created a demo film for the Pixel 6 to show how it compares to the Pixel 5 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The video consisted of a simple beach pan with the sun setting, and according to The Verge, who had the privilege to see it live, the Pixel 6 took the best video maintaining the natural white balance throughout compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max which artificially brightened the shadows too much. Compared to the Pixel 5, it was not even a contest. Google explained how they are doing this is by applying HDRNet to every single frame of the video like they do with their photos and the Tensor chip made this possible. Moving on, Google also shared some camera details. The firm hasn't specified a specific sensor and it hasn't revealed details like megapixels, aperture size, but it's a significant camera improvement, so significant that Google isn't trying to disguise it with the design. They said the improved sensors and lenses are now too big to fit into the traditional square, so they went with the camera bar. The camera on the Pro include a wide-angle primary that takes in 150% more light a secondary ultra-wide-angle camera, and a 4x optical zoom periscope camera. While they haven't shared anything about Pixel 6 camera, but it's a dual camera setup without a periscope zoom lens. And here are the display specifications that Google has revealed, which also includes the under-display fingerprint scanner underneath. Of course, with that said, Pixel 6 is without a doubt the most interesting handset of the year, partially because of the new hardware but mainly because people want to see what software magic tricks Google can pull off with this handset now that they have their own hardware. Of course, do consider subscribing for more updates, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.